Let's take a look at a strategy in action. In this video, Dr. Moon Cho at Ohio University will demonstrate how you can facilitate participation in your course. Specifically, she'll showcase how to ask and answer questions so that students are more involved in the class. This is a course on statistics and the topic is contingency tables and types of variables, continuous or categorical. You're going to hear some math terms in the following examples. Pay attention to the strategies that Dr. Cho uses to facilitate participation, regardless of if you understand the math terms themselves. As you're watching, see if you can identify at least three strategies that Dr. Cho uses to get students to talk more. Welcome, Dr. Cho. Okay, thanks Dr. Cho for this excellent demonstration. Maybe you all noticed some of the strategies that Dr. Cho used to help students talk more in class. The ones I noticed were praising, when she always started her response by telling students something they did well. Like when she said, you pointed something out, very important here. That was praising for their effort and ideas. However, the student didn't in fact provide the correct answer. So next, Dr. Cho moved to a probing question when she asked, when we know the number of the right answers or the sum of the right answers, what would be the other values that we can automatically obtain? She is helping the student come to the right answer on their own. 
you can also see Dr. Cho asking questions and giving examples that require critical thinking from the students. This is going to make the questions and discussion more interesting for them. And finally, she summarizes the correct answer once the students have provided it to her. That way, all the students can leave class knowing what the answer was. Okay, that concludes our demonstration on facilitating participation in your course. Thanks, Dr. Cho, for your very useful tips.